Good morning, everyone. This is Jeff from the Cyber Pro Podcast. Today, my guest is David Meese, who is going to be talking a little bit about how to build your personal brand when getting into cybersecurity. So on that, good morning. I'd like to say hello to you, David. Can you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do? Uh, yes, good morning, Jeff. A uh, little bit about myself. Uh, I run a company. It's uh, Cyber Tech Dave. I have my own YouTube channel. Um, on the channel, I'm basically giving cybersecurity awareness to and education to people, you know, globally. I think that's really, really important uh, for us to come together and, you know, give security awareness. And, and, and I also recently uh, just got a job as a SOC analyst. So I'm looking forward to, to that and learning more. And, um, and that's a little bit about myself. Awesome. Hey, David, you, you said that uh, at CyberTech, Dave, you, you provide a lot of advice. Who's generally the, the people that come to you or that you provide that advice to? Is there a, a certain subset of the community, maybe small business owners, maybe you know, folks who are a little bit more mature, who don't really understand cyber? Who comes to, Cy- who comes to you, Dave? Um. I like getting people like uh, Josh Mason, you know, uh, folks in in the cybersecurity community, and uh, like Christian uh, uh, Espinoza, other people, you know, the, to come on the show, different different people like that to provide, you know, basically to provide like how how to break into cybersecurity. That's that's what I'm really focused. I'm also focused on, you know, how to improve uh, the company's security posture, you know, o- overall. So that's another thing that we focus on. Yeah, that's super important. How to bring how to bring new people to the table. I think we all, being in the space, know that there is uh, a large number of positions that are not filled. Uh, uh, there's certainly a we're we're on the on the on the end of. Uh, having to get more people, more seats, more butts in the seats, if you will. There's, there's a lot out there and they need a lot more of us. So tip hat, uh, hat tip right. to you for, uh, for, for helping us bring the new guys in. So that's awesome. All right. Uh, yeah, from an entrepreneur's bit. perspective, um, what do you find most compelling about being a cyber professional during these fast paced and honestly crazy times? The most compelling part to me is like the protecting, you know, people and organizations against cyber cyber criminals. I, uh, I think it's very, you know, like it goes back to earlier me talking about cyber security awareness. You know, wanting people to, it just not uh, businesses, but individuals. You know, like giving people resources, uh, different things they can do to to protect protect their business i think that's one of the most important things uh right now and another you know like you said yeah it's super important i mean i think you know something that uh, i hear a lot about and you may as well is uh, people who aren't veterans in the space you know they come to me and they say you know i know what cybersecurity means but i really don't have any place i don't know where to start right it's like it's like this huge giant planet and and people know that they have to go onto that planet but they have no idea how to get there and what to do when they get there so that baseline level of knowledge is is very critical for people because they need to get their feet wet and they need to jump into the pool and a lot of people are just kind of circling the pool trying to figure out how to get in when you and i know you just gotta jump in right i think it, i think one of the most important things is to like when you talk about jumping in the pool is trying to find a focus you know just focus on one thing um and then then you can always pivot you know to, to something else to learn more i think it's really important you know just to dig in and really focus on one thing whether it's uh red teaming blue teaming you know whatever it may be just find a focus and uh, stick to it, you know? Yeah, that, I mean, you've just, you know, put two things together, which are really important, you know, jumping into the pool, getting started, and as well as, as finding your focus and sticking to that and starting somewhere. And so question number four that we have, which is 
uh, kind of the, the, the meat of this podcast is some insights or advice that you'd like to share. And what you wanted to share was the importance of networking and building your brand, uh, your personal brand, as you get started in the cybersecurity world. Let's talk about that. Oh, yes. Uh, it's very, very important. Uh, I started networking about 10, 10 to 11 months ago on LinkedIn. Uh, I started out with like about 100, 100 connections. So I went from like 100 connections to over 13,000 followers, you know, within just 11 months. But the way I did that, um, I would get on LinkedIn every, I've been on there every single day, you know, like providing like personal like insights and it, did, and it doesn't matter what level, uh, a lot of people, you know, they're, they're afraid to jump in because, uh, they don't have a, enough experience. Uh, but I mean, I'm, I'm here to say that you don't, you don't need all that experience. It doesn't matter what level that you're on what level you are in your career or IT or cyber uh, security career, someone can always benefit for like, if you post uh, different resources, uh, post, you know, every day, get on LinkedIn, uh, at least a few minutes throughout the day, you know, like of the morning, you know, a few minutes of the afternoon, evening, you know, do that every day and just always be sure to add value if uh, if you do comment on someone else's post or share, if you if you don't have an original post, you know, just always give uh, value. I think that's the importance of uh, networking is just to be sh be sure to uh, help everyone. You know, it's all about helping people, uh, and I love I love helping <laughs> I love helping people, and uh, and I just hope you know. And I also started. Uh, 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 a challenge. I don't know if you've seen it. It's a uh, hashtag cyber tech Dave, 100 days of cyber challenge. Uh, you know, hashtag uh, cyber tech Dave, 100 days of cyber challenge. Uh, we're on, we're on day 27 of it right now. So now I have like over like two, 200 people doing that with me right now. So I'm really happy, happy about that. And but I think the main thing, you know, networking uh, on LinkedIn is just showing up, showing up every day and just uh, just don't be afraid to, you know, put yourself out there. Showing up and, and bringing value. I, I caught that earlier from your response. I love that. Right. Uh, I, I think that when it's us against them and, it, and it, honestly, I mean, that's the, uh, the way to put it is the bad guys, the bad actors. It's we're, we're, we're fighting against them. And if we don't bring value and we're not useful, then we're not useful. So absolutely awesome answer. Thank you for that. Hey, final question. We're running a little bit low on time. Uh, let's end with a fun question. Uh, one of my favorite questions is, is what is your favorite piece of retro technology that gets you to smile? And, and how did it maybe impact how you got to today? Oh, well, uh, I love, um, I was thinking about super, uh, <laughs> super NES, like super Nintendo. Uh, you like it because right? you're rubbing your oh, hands yes. right now. Yes. I can see yeah, it. I, I, I love, love, love it. <laughs> but yes, uh, video games, that's something too, you know, I would like to learn more about is the, uh, uh, the coding side too. Uh, I, I do a little bit of coding, you know, but I'm basically, you know, just putting things together, but, but that's not one of my strong suits, but that's something that, really piqued my interest you know like how uh, how to how everything works uh, behind the video game you know like the person programming it so that's uh, really got me interested in uh, computer stuff and and I've been uh, working on computers uh, doing things ever since 2006 so it's been been a while so that's wow. really got me so I love it. And uh, now I'm, you know, transferring from IT to uh, system admin to uh, pivoting into cybersecurity. So still have, uh, you know, a lot to learn, but uh, that's, I love, uh, I consider, you know, myself a lifelong learner and uh, I just want to continue to 
keep going and pushing myself and learning more. <laughs> that then that's it, right? The the landscape changes, so we got to change and continue learning. Cybertech Dave, thank you very much for your time today. We really appreciate it. All right, thank you, Jeff. And for those of you who don't know, the Cyber Pro Podcast posts two to three different episodes every week. We always have bonus content where we have awesome guests like Dave come on board. Um, so come check us out. And coming up in the next few weeks, we have a new fireside chat that's going to get ready to drop. And it's talking a little bit about AI and blockchain. So be sure to tune in for that. Thank you, Dave. Be well. Have a good day. All right. Thank you. You made it to the end. Thanks for watching the Cyber Pro podcast today. You can find more content here and here and there.